Hello guys, what is going on? My name is Leafies and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing part 2 of the 30k special. And for this second part, we are going to be looking at the history of the Leafies YouTube channel. I've been around for about almost 3 years on YouTube. That's, I don't know, that's not a lot compared to some other people, but it is a lot compared to some new people. So today we're going to be looking at the entire history of my channel from start to finish. I'll try to make it as funny as I can so that you don't get bored watching it. And of course, if you do enjoy them, please do consider subscribing. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. It, it's unbelievable and it's so surreal and I really, really, truly am grateful. Regardless, do consider leaving a like and let's get right into the comedic, hopefully, history of the Weefies YouTube channel in all of its de depressing glory. Weefies was always supposed to be a crap post channel and some may argue that it still is a crap post channel, myself among them. Although I do think that my content has improved over time as I went from this garbage, to this garbage. I started the Weefies YouTube channel after I abandoned my previous channel, Red Chief MLG. I was really burned out from that channel, and the videos weren't fun to make anymore, or they weren't really good. I was just doing it for the hope of getting money one day, which is not good motivation to do YouTube. It's legitimate, but I don't think it's good. I wanted to do YouTube for the fun of it, for the fun of uploading, etc. Because I enjoyed it, I enjoyed making videos, but the ones that I were making for Red Chief, they weren't good. So on December 27th, 2017, I made a YouTube channel named after my Minecraft IGN. I, I know, very original. I didn't know what to do with my channel, but I had two ideas. The first, which I still carry to this day, was to become an animation YouTuber. I always wanted to tell my stories through animation, but I decided to wait a year because all the great animators that I watched started in high school, like the Odd Ones Out, for example. I, I think so, at least I, that might be wrong. Now, I'm in high school, and I still want to do animation, it's just I don't have time to put effort into two channels, so yet at least. I might do it later. My second idea was to do Minecraft again, but this time with my own voice and my own ideas, and to have fun doing it. I was quite into Target 3D Gaming at the time, so I made a Bed Wars video, as one does. The video wasn't good, but I put a decent amount of work into it, and it was an unlikely video. It's now private, you can't watch it, I feel it's not up to par with the rest of my content. Of course, some of my videos are really garbage, like... Some of the recent ones even, ha <laughs> we don't talk about those. But that video, I don't think it's a good thing to see as my first video for the channel, even though it is, technically. Then, I wanted to dabble in some lazy animation. So I crap posted a little. Yo guys, what's up? This is Peter I'm a car, tell me. Introduction time. I live off mumbo jumbo now, and I did back then. Although I do think the situation has been getting better, and I think I'm adding my own twists and insights into things now, so it is going well. My first public video was an entry to a mumbo jumbo contest, where he challenges viewers to make a self building redstone contraption. I thought that I was very, very smart, making a piston free tape piston door. Hello YouTube, it's me Weefies. This is my entry for the Mumbo Jumbo self-building redstone contraption. Mumbo Jumbo, if you're watching this, great thank you to you. I love your videos. And let's activate it. So let's see if this flip this lever. The mechanism rotates a tiny bit. I'm sorry if it's a bit slow, but I do need 12 ticks because otherwise um, it would break. And I've experimented on this and I've worked on it for like a few hours now. I know that seems a lot for this small contraption, the correct position. So we have our redstone lamp there, let's place in our blocks, and as you can see, when you flip this lever now, 2x2 piston door has been made. And we can flip this again to scramble it up, and etc, etc. The build itself is decent, and I put a lot of work and time into it, and I got a lot of views for it as well, which was really nice, but I didn't get in. That's okay. I think it's a good video, which is why I kept it like public. I think it shows what my channel started from, and I want people to know I started as a redstone YouTuber. Not some crappy animationist with Bed Wars videos on the side. But regardless, after those three videos, my channel died. But you can see that I used Hermitcraft all the way back then as well. I did more redstone tutorials, all of which I think are decent. I don't know. They're not really special, though. Nothing to set them apart from other redstone YouTubers who actually like, have a better understanding of what they're doing. I like their basic tutorials. Mumbo Jumbo, though the savior himself, issued another challenge. And then my videos got traction again. Both did really well and I spent a lot of time on them. However, again, I didn't get in. Which was fine, because people actually noticed me, which is all I really cared for. After that, I made Marble Races. 
but yeah, it was, it was a it was a dark period. Although my videos did get pretty good views, the didn't gain many subscribers, which was a bit disappointing. But 7.5 months after I started my channel, I finally hit 10 1, 100 subscribers, 10 subscribers, yeah, which was insane. I thought that was really good. 7.5 months, 100 subs. Oh, what a legend! That's like three subs per month. How did I celebrate? You may ask. I made a montage of me saying peace out. Peace out. Peace. 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 It's been me, Weefies. Peace. 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 And peace out. I'll see you guys next time. And peace out. And peace out. Peace. Why? Why? Why did I think anyone would watch that? But I guess it was very wholesome. I sound very, very thankful. Now, this was the turning point for my channel. I recently watched Technoblade's video with him vs. Huawei, the Hunger Games Simulator. It's an old video, but it's really funny, and I recommend watching it. So I got inspired by him to make a Hunger Games Simulator myself, this time with the Hermitcraft members. I was in Asia for summer vacation at the time, and I had nothing else to upload and not much time to put into my own commentary, so I quickly made this Hunger Games Simulator, gave it an awful title, some may say, and scheduled it, thinking, nah, nobody would watch it, maybe 50, 10 people, 10 to 50 people, that's, that'd be awesome. I was in awe when this video shot up past a thousand views. So what did I do? I made another one, of course, as one does. And another one, and did well. And again, and again. And now I have a ton of Hermitcraft comparisons. Oh, and this video somehow has like 30k views? How did that happen? That's insane. I don't know why that's a thing, but nobody liked it, so there's that. It got to the point where I ran out of ways to compare the Hermits, so instead, I began comparing my comparisons. Yeah, it was a, it was a dark time. A bit later, I discovered Nova Skin wallpapers, and my thumbnails got 10 times better. I still use them for my most recent compilations. I don't do compilations anymore, but I did use Nova Skin when I do do compilations. Ah, doo doo. Then, on October 2018, I published all of the Hermits' faces using Exuma's clickbait. You can see, nothing has changed. That was when my first video hit over 100,000 views, and that's just incredible. And even though it was demonetized and has over 1.5 thousand dislikes, I was still really proud of it and was so amazed by the support I was getting. I still am. That's like one of my most popular videos to this day. Then, then I made the mistake of exposing Exuma Void for having a head. A freaking head. Like we all do. We all have a head, and yet I said, oh look guys, Exuma has a head. Wow. That video is private now. Because even though the views are good, nobody liked it, I didn't like it, it was unnecessary and insensitive to Exuma Void. His privacy should be kept. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. 17 days later, on the 25th of October, 2018, I hit 400 subscribers. I did a special and all, and I actually also made a pretty good video that has over 42,000 views. Although I did steal all the designs, so... The 10th of November, on the other hand, my one and only pet, Nova, died. It was a sad video, but all the comments were really nice to me, so that made my day a lot better. Hey, 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 Weefies. Remember that video about Hermitcraft faces? Remember how I got, like, a ton of views? Well, get this. Do it again. Just, just better for more views this time. And what do you know? It worked. I think that's, like, my third most popular video right now, which is insane. It's a really old one. It was around this time that I got invited to join Logcraft, a survival server with a lot of other small YouTubers. Of course, I said yes. I needed some survival content. I was going to do survival anyway. Might as well do it with some group, like a Hermitcraft thing, like a mini Hermitcraft. It was one of my favorite series to make, and I think it was really wholesome. On December the 3rd, I made this video, which was also a mistake. I literally explained a joke. I don't know if I thought I was cool or something. People obviously didn't like it, rightfully so. But it's not as bad as the Exuma one, so it's still public, and you can watch it to this day if you feel like watching some garbage. On December 28th, 2018, only one day and one month after I started my channel, I hit 1,000 subscribers, which was insane. I still am, and definitely was back then, very, very, very thankful for those 1,000 people who subscribed. It, it's absolutely incredible. And it's not that bad. A year for 1,000 subs? I think I think that's not bad. That's, like, that's pretty good if I do say so myself. It was also around this time that I began to do compilations, which was at the basis of what I would do for the rest of my Hermitcraft career. 
Nothing really then happened till March 2nd, 2018, where in just 3 months, I hit 2k subs. Which really, really helped me, I guess it was nice, it boosted my ego, and I became the most subscribed YouTuber in my middle school. As far as I know, of course, there could be some more popular kids. And I was really, really happy. I actually released a good special for once. I think this video has... I think it's a good video. And it did well for the long time I spent making it. I'm gonna disguise myself. And so yeah, the water current basically pushing the gas ball out of our way. So we have to go. Now it's the gas ball flying. Kid, hey Weefies, remember that faces video? Do it again, but with names this time. Trust me. And what do you know? Once again, it worked. For the next few months, I made decent content, I guess. Sometimes it got a little, uh, uh weird, to say the least. Got a little bad, I as well. I was desperate for money. Views, the usual, you know. Oh, and of course, more Technoblade. What else are you gonna do? And then, things began to change. July 5th, 2019, I made my 3k subscriber special, Amazon Green. The video blew up, it did absolutely incredible, and in just 9 days, I uploaded my 5k special. I have never grown as fast since, I think I gained 2000 subscribers in one day from my 5k special. It was that fast. Amazon Mumbo. It did even better and it currently stands as the most popular video on the channel, and probably will be for the remainder of my YouTube career. Maybe. It is one-fifth, almost, of my total channel views, which is insane. And the god, Mumbo Jumbo himself, my savior throughout my entire career, commented, and I assume he liked, like, enjoyed, not liked, liked, but enjoyed, enjoyed the video, which is mind-blowing. Unbelievable. This video skyrocketed me 10k subs in less than a month, which really helped me get to where I am today. I could not have built such an audience without those two videos. They're really like, they're mm, staples of the channel. On August 24th, 2019, I resigned from Lawcraft because my summer vacation was over, I didn't have enough time to commit, and the videos just weren't as fun to make and the community was much more toxic. Three days later, I had my first and probably last live stream where I gained about 20 subs and had a really nice time with you guys, so I guess that was fun. The Hermitcraft meme series started up about then, and I did really, really well. I still do it to this day, because it's really fun to make. Part 1 and Part 2 and Part 3, I think all Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 are in my most popular videos, two of which have over 100k views, so that's insane. And once again, I, I'm saying this a lot, but thank you. It, you do not know, this means so much to me, it's unbelievable. They still do well, which is also insane. On September 6th, 2019, I made a 15k special, and got one of my non-Hermitcraft videos to over 100k views. I think that's one of, if not the best video I've ever made on this channel. If you all are interested in seeing some awful mobile game ads for Minecraft, check it out, I think it's really cool. I recommend you watch it. Since then, I've been doing pretty well. My content has shifted, I stopped the grumble moments because I wanna branch out a little, I wanna move on to Hermitcraft related comedy versus Hermitcraft related compilations, and my out of context videos, plus my amazing 30k special got me to where I am now. I love the out-of-context videos, they're so funny. With a little growth spurt from the out-of-context saga, I made it to 30k, and released this 30k special that I just mentioned. It's doing really well right now, I really do appreciate all the support I've gotten on it, I think it's really one of the funniest Amazons out there, so I recommend you watch it. I have come very, very far, and I am really, really thankful for how far I have come, and I'm so grateful for all the amazing people who have subscribed. If you are a subscriber, thank you ever so much for joining me on this journey. 
I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Maybe, I don't know, a few years. I don't care. I don't know. School isn't a problem so far. And we have this coronavirus break, which is... Uh, I appreciate it. Like, I don't like coronavirus, but school break is school break. <laughs> don't take that the wrong way. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please do consider subscribing. It really would mean the world to me. You have no idea. But thank you so, so much for watching. That wraps up this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, and something really important to know before we do end off the video is... I want to just say a quick thank you to a bunch of the people who have been with me since the very, very beginning. They've been here forever, before 500 subs, and for the most part, some of them are still active commenters, which I appreciate. So, shout out to Barack Obama, Digital Smile, Rem, Sebastian Demergen, I'm sorry, <laughs> butchering your name, Boop Noodle, Dragon G, Verks, Ben Coles, Plasma Dragon, Darth Cash, Timely Seeker, Speedish, and OC Triard. Special thank you to Speedish for being my first subscriber. That means a lot, buddy. Anyway, yeah, that has been New Beefies, and peace out. Bye.